caballo. The horse is an animal whose physical strength, speed, and endurance is a result of diverse environmental conditions that have played an intrinsic role in its evolution. Besides their intelligence, hardiness, nobility, and learning ability have made them suitable to be used by other species, man. These traits have allowed us to derive maximum utility from horses. Most often, we traditionally discuss horses in a sporting capacity. Today, we invite you to learn about horsemanship at work. This sport is based on classic training and in activities that were developed for horses in European countries. It is a test with elements from the field, where there are gates, barrels, bridges, pens, among others. We learned about this discipline from Nuno Batista, a Portuguese writer widely recognized in Europe. He arrived in Colombia as a dressage and work horsemanship trainer some time ago. Horsemanship has been my passion ever since I was a boy. I grew up with horses at home. My family came from an equestrian tradition in the town of Bora, although not as professionals. That's when I became more and more passionate about it. Work horsemanship was born in Italy 25 years ago. It is a discipline that was created with the idea of maintaining the tradition, the identity of each country, that is, maintaining the equestrian tradition and the identity of the countries that have a long tradition of working with horses on farms or cattle ranches. So at this moment, there are 14 countries that practice this discipline. It is a discipline that consists of three tests, training, manageability, and speed. We talked to Andrea Vargas about these three horsemanship tests. She practices classic dressage training and work horsemanship. Work horsemanship consists of three mandatory trials and one optional trial. The first three mandatory trials are a training trial, which takes place inside a rectangle where we perform a series of exercises, and they are graded by a judge. The second mandatory trial is manageability, in which there are 12 or 14 obstacles in an established route where there is, for example, a bridge, a gate, a jump, they have to ring a bell, there are a series of different obstacles, and they have to go through while keeping the horse calm and with great precision and accuracy. That's how you get a good grade. The third mandatory trial is a speed trial, where you encounter the same obstacles, and sometimes they remove some of them. The main thing in this trial, what gives the horse and rider a good score, is a fast time. The type of horse chosen for this discipline must be agile, fast, and, above all, very tame, given that the obstacles are very varied and challenging, as they are out in the field. For work horsemanship, one can use any type of horse breed. Any horse should be able to perform work horsemanship. At the moment, the horses that are more commonly used are Iberians, Lusitanians, and Spanish purebreeds. But as I told you, since it's a sport where we try to maintain the identity and the tradition of each one of the countries that participate, in a World Cup, you will see different breeds, Italian, French, Iberian. At the moment, we have Pasafinos in training. We also have an Appaloosa and a Quarter Horse. Here at the Country Club, those are the three breeds we are training in work horsemanship. First, we will talk a little about the training or dressage trial, also called the learning test. It consists of doing some exercises with the horse inside a rectangle, following strict specifications and requirements in their performance. 
This trial is perhaps the most demanding for the rider and the horse, since you undergo a detailed evaluation of the whole training process that has been done with the horse by the person who's showing it. It is very important to have a common basis of training. It doesn't matter what the horse is for, so it's like children who receive the same instruction in the same disciplines until 4th or 6th grade. It's the same with horses. We have to build a psychological, athletic and physical foundation that is common for all the horses. And only afterwards do we begin with more focused work in each of the disciplines. The test of manageability has the goal of demonstrating the ability of the rider and the horse to overcome with ease, precision, style, and consistency a series of obstacles that can be found in the field. Let's learn more about it. This modality consists of having some obstacles, approximately 14, around a track, and what we look for is to perform the obstacles with consistency, ease, and style. The horsemanship obstacles, as I have told you, are of the type that one will find working in the field with a horse. So you have a gate, you have to approach the gate, open it, and close it with one hand while keeping the horse calm, in harmony, and finishing all the obstacles in a relaxed manner. In the zigzag, for example, you have to do the zigzag between the posts, which simulate trees. You go as symmetrically as you can, go around posts, changing footing between each tree. Another very popular obstacle is the pole, in which you have to take the pole, and in general you have a ring on top of a static bull, and you have to thread the ring with the pole. What else do we do in work horsemanship? Crossing a bridge, crossing a long bridge, approximately 4 meters long by 2 meters wide, and you have to traverse it on the horse, which must remain calm. So the horse has to step on the boards of the bridge as if he were stepping on sand, with the same ease and with the same harmony. The speed test consists of nothing more than doing the same manageability test, but in the shortest time possible. The third mandatory test is a speed test, which has the same obstacles, but sometimes you can remove some obstacles. And here what you're graded on is time performance. Your speed can be penalized if you knock an obstacle down or if you miss the obstacle. And also, we have bonuses. The majority of horses have three types of steps, or foot movement patterns. Each one of these requires a specific posture from the rider. These steps are called airs. And within this sport, they are also important. It is very important to know that work horsemanship only allows horses to show two types of airs, which are walking and galloping. At no point on the track should the horse go very fast and reach a trot. This is penalized with a bad grade. The scoring is done on a scale from 0 to 10, and the grade varies depending on whether the task was performed correctly or not. One should take into account that to train in any equestrian sport, the rider and the horses must have the preparation necessary to be able to participate in the different disciplines. Nuno and Andrea spoke to us about the preparation required. Well, both horse and rider have to be very versatile. It has to be a horse that is calm and who has the ability to do a dressage reprise a complete reprise with a sprint with transitions going through the three airs and who can afterwards be on a course with obstacles of different shapes, colors, dimensions and maintain the same discipline, the same harmony while staying calm. On the third day, this same horse has to accelerate the routine and perform it very fast. 
It's not as though just any type of rider can do it. One needs to prepare the horse as well as the rider. The most important thing is for the horse to understand instruction very well and to be very well trained and submissive so as to be able to reach the obstacles and perform properly. To know a little bit more about the obstacles of work horsemanship, we went to a riding event in Llano Grande, Antioquia, where the goal was to generate public awareness about this activity. There I met Fatima Londoño, who talked to us about each of the obstacles in this event. Here we have a track with 12 obstacles. We begin with number one, which is a jar of water, where the horse has to show a lot of calmness as you lift the jar pour the water, and leave again as the horse has to be calm and controlled there. From there, we go to do a figure eight. There, what we want to showcase is handling of the reins, how the rider leads him and where he has to go. From there, we move on to the jump. The horse can't knock off the bar that is on top. This is enough to show the horse's agility and dexterity. From there, we're going to open the gate, which also is an obstacle that highlights the rider's agility. Although the horse also has to have very good behavior and very good reins to be guided where it needs to go. From there, we are going to the pen, which is represented by a small circle. The horses sometimes struggle to get in there since the space is so narrow and unfamiliar. The horse here also has to demonstrate a lot of calmness and very good pace. From there, we go to the bell. You have to enter through a narrow alley, ring a bell, and get the horse to come back out in reverse. Then you have the three barrels here. The horse also has to have very good handling, great mobility, and elasticity. Then we can take the pull, which also is a task, that depends on the overall agility of the rider. You have to grab the pole and come back, pick up a ring placed on top of the head of a simulated bull. Number 10 is crossing a small bridge where horses feel strange, so they have to demonstrate a lot of calmness. Number 11 is a zigzag, a slalom, that also showcases the rider's handling and the horse's agility. And number 12 is a bar that the horse has to pass walking sideways, crossing one leg over the other, and then the trials end. Like, what are we going to do here today? Another important point within work horsemanship is how the judges grade movement. All of these exercises are scored on a scale from 0 to 10 according to the following standard. 10 being excellent, 9 outstanding, 8 very good, 7 good, 6 satisfactory, 5 sufficient, 4 insufficient, 3 bad, 2 very bad, 1 poor, and 0 not executed. But because this event sought to popularize this activity, another qualification is taken into account. There are some very skilled judges in work horsemanship, but since we want to encourage people to bring their horses into this activity, we have organized this event to be more of a friendly meet rather than a contest. So instead of being scored on a scale of 0 to 10, here we are going to score from 0 to 3 so the participants feel more comfortable. As they can be calm and relaxed while on the track, since they are barely getting to know the discipline, and they are just now getting attached to this sport. 